I know when I'm stressed, what happens to me is my inner control freak starts to lurk about. <laughs> and I just wonder whether you've got an inner control freak as well. Yeah, I have. I, yeah, I, I kind of have got that inner animal, but mine's changed. So I feel like my inner self, you know, it used to have a name when I was in rugby, but I feel like my inner self has changed. So normally I would breathe, I'll do a lot of headspace. I would take myself away from the training pitch and focus on something different. That was the way I controlled it and with a lot of mindful sessions, right? But now my, I feel like I'm losing control of it. Sometimes I just go like, I'm just, I feel like I'm like so impatient again, so like on the edge. I could literally just like, I could just like just go mad. Yeah. But I feel like it's coming out in a negative way. I'm trying to train my, the little animal inside me to be tame, to be, just be kind, just be gentle. I think that, that's one of the challenges at the moment, isn't it? With this kind of like the uncertainty and, you know, that kind of anxiety. Like you say, it's tough for us to have to keep coming out of our comfort zone. And it's quite exhausting as well, all these emotions that we're feeling. I mean, do you find that you're getting quite, quite tired? Yeah, I do. I've had to be really like, so um, your body doesn't know the difference between physical and mental stress, does it? It, you know, for those out there who don't know, cortisol rise, rises and cortisol is your stress hormone. And so when I'm in the gym, I can feel my stomach feeling knotted from just this lockdown. And then I can feel my training just going downhill because I can feel myself getting exhausted in the gym without doing much. And then I, there are times recently I've just walked away from the gym because I'm like, actually, I don't need to rise any more cortisol. Like, I don't need to be in those situations. So I just need to walk away from today and go again tomorrow. And I've said that more times the last five weeks than I probably have in the last year where I've just gone, I'll go again tomorrow. Yeah, totally. And you know, I, I really agree with you on that. I think we've got to learn that it's okay to not be okay. Uh, every day, you know, we, we're going to experience lots of things and it's all right to have a little pity party from time to time, isn't it? You know, because I think that we do, we sort of like feel this, these unprecedented times, it's very unusual and we can't be expected to be on top form all the time really, can we? I mean, that'd be crazy. No, you're, you're right because it affects us, you know, financially, physically, mentally. There are so many issues, but people, we, we do need to try and reach out to go, we can't control this. And I'm a bit of a control freak myself, being an athlete, I'm in control of everything. I know exactly how my body ticks and doesn't tick and when to put the gas on, when to take the gas off. So all of a sudden sitting here not knowing is really crazy, but I'm just trying to be comfortable in almost my own skin to go, I'm okay, but some days I don't feel it. But for me, having a little bit of structure, but structure doesn't mean planning out my day in terms of times, unless it's a meeting. It means just having a purpose and fulfilling, uh, you know, your inside where you feel like you've got a bit of a passion. I feel like if I've gone for a run and I've ran well, that's, that's, that's good today. I'll take that as good. Or if I didn't want to feel like training, but I've gone anyway that's a positive or I've had if I've had one email with a little bit of hope in it I cling on to it I'm like that's it that's gonna get me through today and it might be gone next week and it might be even irrelevant that email might be non relevant for the rest of my life but for that day it got me through so you know for me a massive strategy is just latching on to the good because there is so much negative around us it's really easy to latch on to people's themes and conversations yeah. but staying in tune with actually there are still good things going on there are still people doing well there are still people coping and actually that's the side where we need to push ourselves towards